If you have an invention or an idea for a new product, you know you need to protect it. And if you've done any research online, you know there are different types of patents. But which type of patent is right for your invention? Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and click alert notification. There are four types of patent applications you need to know about if you have a new invention or a new product. Selecting the right one or ones to protect your invention is critical. If you pick the wrong one, the patent application may provide you no protection at all. The four types you need to know about are a utility application, which has two variations, a non-provisional and a provisional. The second type is a design application and the third is a plant application. The first three are the most common. Provisional utility, non-provisional utility, and design are the by far the most common types of patent applications. The plant patent application is a, a rarely used type of patent. Of course, it's used for people that develop new kinds of plants. Um, the most famous example of this probably would be um, in the modern times, if you've ever been to Lowe's or Home Depot, and you've seen the uh, knockout rows uh, in the green pots, that would be a, a patented type of plant. Um, a more historical example would be uh, the uh, Luther Burbank, who was one of the early breeders of different types of plants. The Plant uh, Patent Protection Act was actually inspired by him. Uh, his most famous uh, uh, plant variety he developed is the Burbank potato, a variation of which today the russet Burbank potato is used for McDonald's french fries. So there you go. There's something that a uh, little bit of trivia about plant patents. Going back to the more common ones, for most people's invention, if it's a product or if it's software or a mobile app, a utility patent application is typically the, the right one for that invention. And as I mentioned, the utility application has two variations, the non-provisional and the provisional. A provisional patent application is really just a placeholder application that secures you a filing date. It doesn't get examined and it can't issue as a patent. The reason you might use a provisional application is if you have a limited amount of time to prepare the application, or if you have an invention that is somewhat developed, but maybe still in further development, that's a good scenario to use a provisional application, or simply for budget reasons. The filing fee for, for a provisional application is quite a bit less than a non-provisional. A non-provisional utility application is what we would consider a regular patent application that's going to get examined and can issue as a patent if allowed by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. Uh, the non-provisional application has a higher filing fee than the provisional, but it can issue as a patent. The design patent application is one that covers the ornamental appearance of an object. This means it covers just the appearance of your invention. And for some inventions, this is important. For example, if you're inventing a new type of silverware pattern, you're not inventing the fork or the spoon or the knife, but your handle pattern is something you may want to protect. And a design patent application could help you do that. So for most people, it would be the utility application covering products, uh, software, that kind of thing. And for some inventions, the design patent application would be the one to use. So you'll mainly be dealing with one of those two types. But of course, if you do develop a new kind of plant and you want to patent it, then the plant application would be right for you. These are the four types of patent applications you need to know about. I hope this has helped you know which one you may need for your invention or new product idea. If you'd like to learn more about how to protect your invention or new idea, please visit us at inventionshield.com. You can subscribe to our newsletter there and also sign up to learn more about our course for inventors that we'll be releasing soon. Thanks a lot, I hope you enjoyed the video.